printer is just getting started. Sorry for the late start. I ended up ranting on Carrot Stream, and I also got a haircut. Or rather, gave myself a haircut. I don't tend to go for haircuts. Um, but that is all right. Printer's at a bit of a wonky angle for that camera, though. One moment. All right, so we're looking at one of a couple of things here. Um, I can do the thing I'm trying to avoid. I can do the other thing that I kind of don't want to try, want to start trying to avoid. <laughs> or we can play a game. Uh, the one thing I'm kind of avoiding is finishing up that hot plate project because I'm still trying to find the other one of these that I uh already prepped um i really need to spend more time down here cleaning and organizing um problem is there's so many like started and half put together things that i gotta figure out what i want to do with those uh the other thing i'm currently trying to avoid is this thing this abomination that happened this morning I went out to my workshop ignore that that's print from yeah it was from last time uh this abomination where I moved wrong, and apparently I either I hadn't closed the latch or the latch popped open. I don't know which. Uh, but these are, this is I think some two, three hundred drill bits all the way from this size, all the way up to here. And these ones are labeled. This one here is a half inch drill bit. Uh, they are all imperial drill bits, by the way, uh, which makes this even more fun. Because what it basically means is that the small ones, I uh, need to pull this out, and then I go, all right, so this is in inches already, yep, 0.044, and then I have to figure out, okay, well, what is 0.044? Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, see, that can't be right. Um, drill size conversion chart. This drill size conversion chart doesn't even bother trying to go down this low. 0.045. Okay, sorry. 0.0469 is the closest one that actually has a fractional value. See, this is the part, this is why I don't really want to do this. I got 0.44 pretty consistently, except for right at the crossover, through the 0.45, which is still partial decimal down, but I would assume that this is a 364th drill bit. And then we'd put that to the side, and then we'd grab the next one. Which happens to actually be the same size. I don't know. I... Part of me doesn't really want to have to deal with this. Part of me knows that Carrot really loves sorting things, so I'm going like, well, maybe Carrot can do it. Um, Because, like, there's there's actually not that many unique sizes across this. I think it's across, like, 16 sizes, something like that. It also doesn't help that the case isn't marked or labeled in any way, shape, or form. So, like, these guys are just kind of chill down here. Um... So, you know, you kind of get that aspect of it as well. That's uh, maybe not the best. 
but like obviously this does need to get done at some point. I just don't know if Carrot is willing to deal with it for me or if I've got to actually deal with it. Because like, if this was a less tedious task with like measuring and stuff involved, like realistically even if Carrot went through and did like the general like, these ones are roughly the same size, that would still save me a ton of, uh, a ton of effort. Although the one nice thing that is also good is uh, while the diameter changes, the length also changes. So, like, we have one that's a very, very close diameter. Um, or one that's maybe not so close, but you can see. They stick out. They stick out. Yeah, this one's a much closer diameter. I can see. Pop, pop off the top a little bit there, so it's uh, a little bit better. Um, at least you're not going strictly by uh, by one size or the other. I don't know. Is is it is is this good content? I don't know. I legitimately have no idea at this point. All right, oh, you go over there. What? Oh, there's some weird magnetism nonsense going on here. Look at this. Yeah, that's magnetism. That's not, uh... That's not slope. That's... These drill bits are all slightly magnetic because of how I picked them up. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Off to a great start. <laughs> Yeah, because these all fell behind a, uh, like, basically fell behind a dresser. So I had no choice but to deal with these from a generalized um, magnetic perspective. I don't, know, I don't think it's going to be a terribly long process, but I didn't, I'm shocked at how magnetized these things ended up becoming in such a short period of time, though. It's honestly a little wild. Funny thing is, I didn't actually necessarily super need this drill kit when I got it. Um, the guy that was, that I bought my drill press off of, um, he was, ba he was basically going through, like, his, his late father's estate and who had a lot of tools and stuff. So when I was, I showed up to buy the drill press, I was like, well, I've also got this drill bit kit, if if that's interesting to you. I'm like, I mean, it is for the right price, you know? And I got a good deal on it, and... But I haven't really used a lot of it yet, just because it is a little... Partially because I hate how uh, not labeled this is. And maybe that's the big thing that we fix here, is... Instead of just dealing with only the problem at hand. Oh, right. That's why things look weird. Is because I had changed the filters.
probably far more useful. I don't super love like blanket advice when people are like, well, you have to do this.
I think I'm just going to play Nisses, honestly. Um, this has been a very big week. Do it. Yes. Oh, no. No. Okay, well, I've got, got some stats up and running on the outside. We're going to see if there's a, a indication of anything um, as we go here. That at some point. Um... <clears throat> Uh, so, yeah, Rue, uh, this game is basically if you were to take Terraria and staple it to RimWorld. Um, quick robot stats. Okay, no stats there. Interesting. Um, I think re I think for just general sanity, I don't have the patience to deal with, uh, I don't have the patience to deal with Robo Moth today. I apologize for the for the bad mic today, but uh But uh basically Basically, this is kind of like a Terraria meets RimWorld kind of situation, where you do have the colony management. You can see the little map along the top here. Um, pull this. Oh, you cannot see me. Hold on. What can you see? Oh, man, that is very much cut off. Hold on. One moment. There you go, now you can actually see what's going on. So, the, uh, so you got your little colony management here, you got your little person here, you have direct control over. Uh, the rest of everybody else, uh, you have the same kind of work priority situation. Um, <clears throat> I am not far enough in to tell you that. <laughs> I haven't seen any doctoring at all, uh, which a lot of the stuff from room world came from doctoring um but uh basically we end up with a we shall see indeed uh yeah so basically you've got your You've got your map, 
which has your settlers on it. They will go out and like, I got fishermen, he's going off to the fish. They're running off to go chop down some trees. Um, this guy is going to get some blueberries for the farm, I guess. Um, and this guy's useless. He just eats food. Uh, yeah, he is quite literally in, in, incapable of doing anything. He just wanders around and gives you quests. Um, then you also have a grid map, which uh, has different dungeons and villages and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera on it. Um, and when you're rolling along, I'm just gonna dump a bunch of our material here. Yeah, it's super on sale right now, which is why I ended up buying it. Um, with me and that's fine all right so we're gonna head down into the mines uh which i can't get through through that way i made this specifically so i had to go outside because i didn't want to go through the guy's house to do it uh so now we have a mine uh and we've headed a bunch south we haven't really gone north at all so i think that's what we'll we'll start looking at um so this is the underground and get your zombies, your goblins, your other such nasty creatures and the like that uh, come out. Ah, get back here. Zombies and oh boy. Alright. <clears throat> new new areas. Always always full of monsters, right? The spell casting uh, elements in this game are kind of fun. Um They don't so it does seem that uh, basically there is random spawning, but at the same time, said random spawning does tend to only happen in uh, much the same as like Minecraft, where once you've kind of settled an area, you won't get a whole lot of monsters spawning in it. Uh, much the same. Um, That's not how I wanted this to go. Everything from your copper. Crafting material increases mo movement speed by 15% and plus 4 damage. 4% 4 damage. Cool. Um, nice. Like it. There's some iron there. I saw some gold down here, though, that we're going to quickly scoot over and mine. Um... Apparently you can actually recruit people to come down with you as like, like in a little adventuring party. Um, so you can bring your villagers down with you to help clear a nasty part of the dungeon or just help you mine materials. <coughs> and that's kind of nice. I, 
I've heard really lots of good things about this game before uh, picking it up, and it's been on my list for a while, but having it down at like $5 or whatever it was, was kind of like, okay, well, you know, the way the way I see it is, if I can get a game at like a dollar an hour, um, that to me is a win. You can use them as bait, precisely, yeah. Yeah, let them die instead of you. I mean, you're the colony founder. You're you're important. You're you're not a regular person. I had to buy them. They, I, you can't replace me. And as with most things, early game. Uh, <laughs> but it's all right. It's uh I haven't played a, a colony game in a while, so that's kind of nice. Villagers arriving at the. All right, we'll have to go up and check them out at some point here. Oh, that's new. You've got your mine carts and other things you can set up. I haven't actually bothered with them yet, uh, but uh, I thought that this whole um, yeah, honestly, I, I kind of like I played a bunch of Baldur's Gate with Carrot, uh, but outside of that, I haven't done much gaming for the last quite long while. Um...
That's pretty 